while presenting the findings of research done on the microplastic and macroplastic distribution within the Greenfield Mangrove site along the east coast of Demerara, UG researcher and student Sufain Dash Alin said the plastic bottles are trapped by mangroves. Those bottles then suffocate the roots, inevitably killing the mangroves. To save the mangroves, the Faculty of Earth and Environmental Sciences student suggested that the authorities integrate a plastic waste management plan into the country's ongoing mangrove restoration project. Don't remove the mangroves, don't cut down the mangroves, don't burn the mangroves, but do not dump it in the waterways. At least the mangroves need to be emphasized. It's recommended that authorities develop policies and strategies aimed at reducing the use of single-use plastic. We need to take more of a proactive approach to using single use plastics. Bottles is something that we should know what is to it because there are numerous, reusable water bottles that we can buy ones that can keep our, our warm water, but which is cold and hot. They are sold in so many types. Now, chain bottles to give you encouragement. You're going, get ready. You're going, you're almost finished. Why are we still using plastic bottles to this day? For context, single-use plastics are those plastic products that are only used once, often for a short period of time and then discarded. The student opined that single-use plastics should be limited or banned because of their harmful impact on the environment. She also highlighted that there are numerous alternatives to single-use plastics. For example, plastic bottles can be replaced with reusable bottles. In her presentation, the student also noted that with the rapid increase in people's consumption and inadequate waste management avenue, improperly disposed plastics go through drainage systems and are carried to rivers, seas and oceans. There was a clear um, correlation between macroplastic quantity and microplastic quantity. As the Haitian region had the most macroplastic and the most microplastics. So that means as the tide comes in and the plastics are brought into the mangrove environment, it is more than likely going to be trapped at a high tide region. And it's going to stay there for a significant amount of time until it breaks down into microplastics. For her research, she focused on the site, which is the Nari Mangrove Restoration Project. Bottles, lighters, and cups were among the items that were washed into the environment and then trapped by the mangrove roots. There, 38 microplastics were found in mangroves. Beyond this site, it was found that some 10,680 plastic bottles were found during a 2019 national cleanup exercise. Over 36,000 plastic products were found during that exercise. This research is important because while it confirms some of what is known about plastic pollution, it guides best practices. The issue at hand affects other marine ecosystems which consume the plastic and humans then consume the marine animals. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lazina Yearwood.